I, I, what's really going on? Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. Today, I'm taking a look at Stellar Lumen XLM against USDT on the Binance chart. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the technical aspects of price action moving forward, some key levels, uh, some uh, key uh, price levels and forecasts in the uh, mid to short term uh, where I think price action is going to go following this uh, pending uh, consolidation here. Uh, jumping right into it, uh, recapping this uh, very aggressive uh, uptrend here since uh, the end of kind of uh, October, beginning of November, as we broke from uh, eight cents, nine cents uh, resistance. We've rallied. Uh, since the end of November, since the break of eight cents, we've uh, rallied almost 600% with a swing high of 59 cents. We're now sitting 400% uh, uh, above price levels uh, back in November of 2020. We're now sitting 400% uh, above uh, those price levels at 43 cents. Um, now, this is uh, quite a volatile uh, uptrend, quite um, aggressive buy pressure. Uh, prices are skyrocketing um, by over 100%, almost 200% within five days uh, as when we broke the uh, 9 cent resistance there. We then consolidated sideways all the way back down to 12 cents from the swing high of 22 cents. We swung down all the way to 11, to found support eventually around 12. Consolidated for more than a month, a good month and a week or so, month and a couple weeks there. Um, finally, gaining another 225% in less than a week, another more than 200% in a week. Uh, we then consolidated from the swing high of 41 cents uh, down to lows of 21 cents, ultimately finding support along uh, kind of 23, 24 cents. We consolidated sideways within that range for um, about a month, uh, over a month, just a bit. Um, now, finally, uh, in this most recent price action after breaking, uh, after holding uh, the 24 cent support line there, we rallied another 150% in two weeks this time, uh, more more of a gradual incline from the previous 200% pumps after uh, consolidation that we've had during this uptrend. Um, now, we uh, after failing to hold the psychological 50 cent kind of level there, a uh, bunch of price action uh, around between 48 cents and uh, 51, 52 cents kind of thing. Uh, after failing to hold that psychological kind of round level, we dropped all the way back into the 30 cent level, going all the way to 31 cents. Uh, a 48% uh, pullback from the uh, 60 cent swing high that we had um, at the middle of February of this year. Um, now, we've been trading sideways within um, this crazy range for, um, we're approaching two months in, uh, in kind of 10 days here. Uh, we're looking at like a month and a half, roughly at the moment and i believe a breakout to be uh to be pretty imminent here uh, we've set some uh some very nice uh higher lows uh during these dips we were bought right back up a previous video i posted we prices were right around the 36 cent range and uh, within the past week we are up another 21 percent uh, back to 43 cents and so that uh in my opinion is very bullish i believe uh, we are finally going to be interacting again with uh, what was significant resistance uh, below 46 cents and above 43 cents. Um, so right now I believe we're interacting with resistance at this exact price level, exact moment. This wick um, has gone into it and we've, you know, we're showing bullish pressure, um, looking to break upward to it. We've, uh, after closing above the 38 cent support level, we even wicked down to retest it, uh, further confirming it as support, pumping, uh, kind of pretty nicely in the past only like two days here another almost like 10 percent in like two days after the retest of uh, 38 cents um, now this consolidation i believe is uh, very healthy is very nice for uh, for an uptrend and will allow the uptrend to continue and uh, with these volatile kind of spikes like this and all this buy pressure uh, sideways and downside is to be expected and um, is uh, almost welcome in my opinion uh, during an uptrend as uh, consolidation is healthy, reaccumulation is um, is very beneficial to an uptrend because uh, the more traders you have reaccumulating during reaccumulation, uh, the better, the more strong uh, the breakout upward uh, tends to be. Um, now, when we consider engineering robo, uh, we have uh, interaction with the cloud, eventually closing with the cloud buy, uh, buy for moon as we uh, broke the 13 cents uh, kind of level there as we found support along 12 cents and broke 16 cents. We mooned all the way up to uh, 60 cents 
before finally seeing uh, the cell signals, we have a cell four and hell coming into play during this uh, sideways here. Uh, Ranging Robo detected some cell pressure, some aggressive uh, uh, selling at this level. Traders were taking profits from uh, their entries probably around here back when they were accumulating. Um, their demand for Stellar is high, so even though there's plenty of these traders taking profit and there's tons of sell pressure, there is a lot of uh, buyers above uh, 38 cents, and um, this has become significant a significant support uh, in the last kind of few weeks here. And I believe finally we are able to break upward, and I believe um, these buy signals should return within the next kind of couple days here. Um, I believe a close above. 45 cents or interaction above 45 cents will uh, probably most likely cause the buy signals to return and we can uh, interact with 60 cents uh, again um, but if these sell signals remain and we continue pumping um, i suspect a hard rejection pending uh, usually when there's these sell signals uh, and consolidation uh, and if we break out upward, but the sell signals remain, um, I tend to read that as perhaps a bit of a fake out, and um, we could see some some uh, some very bearish downside in the uh, short term before uh, taking off, kind of thing. Uh, realistically, I am quite bullish on XLM at the moment. I believe a break upward is imminent, and we're going to interact with uh, 50 cents very quickly here, 60 cents probably shortly after. Um, but a uh, very uh, perhaps pessimistic, bearish outlook if we were to uh, kind of see it from kind of two directions. Uh, a very bearish uh, outcome would be either strong rejection off of pretty much 50 cents. Say we get rejected off of 50 cents and we head back down to this 38 support line to perhaps trade uh, sideways again and uh, kind of further the sideways. Um, if we say we come up all the way through 50 and we interact with 60 cents again and these sell signals remain and we get a hard rejection off of it um, I suspect that to be uh, far more bearish for XLM and we could very easily come back into the uh, the low 20s 20 cent range there if we were to experience kind of something like this and have another uh, hard rejection off of that previous kind of swing high there uh, but in the long term uh, I'm quite bullish on XLM, and we could easily see XLM surpass a dollar to the multi-dollar kind of range um, in the very sort of near future here. Uh, when we uh, consider XLM against Bitcoin on the Binance chart, uh, if I just zoom out to allow these Fibonacci lines to draw themselves here, uh, we are at this exact moment, um, I believe we are at resistance. Um, kind of thing. So I suspect a minor pullback pending, like a couple cent probably pullback within the next kind of few hours uh, before we can continue. Uh, the key level on the uh, buy on the Bitcoin chart here is going to be uh, this 618 level around uh, 713 Satoshi. Uh, holding that level will be very short term bullish. I wouldn't be surprised if we're trapped between uh, 715 and 750 Satoshi for perhaps a couple days before we take off. But a close above 750 Satoshi will be very bullish, and that also lines up with the with this 200 uh, day moving average. As this is the daily chart, this green line here, concealed by some trend lines, is a 200 moving average. Uh, I believe once we were to close above, the more we can close above this 200 moving average, perhaps uh, come down to retest it, the uh, the more bullish and the more explosive the upward momentum could be. Uh, we still have a sell for and hell in play, so we are still um, experiencing some sell pressure and some sideways, but uh, this breakout is looking like it is, uh, it is uh, right around the corner. Uh, when we go back to uh, XLM against USDT here, oh, we saw briefly that buy four flashed. Um, the candle has to close uh, for the signal to draw itself, and they will never change once the candle has closed and the signal has drawn. Um, but there you go, briefly, that buy four coming into play as we're recording. Um, the XLM is getting very bullish, very, very bullish. Uh, we see the buy four flashing on and off there. The candle is not closed, so uh, we see the buy four is just above pretty much 45 cents, above, uh, above 45 cents there, above 44, 6. Uh, is kind of where that buy four wants to come into play. Any uh, price action below that will not trigger the buy four. But as you can see, while we're recording, this buy four is coming into play. This upward breakout is uh, is pretty imminent here, and I feel like we could easily interact with uh, with all time highs and the dollar range shortly after. When we consider uh, engineering robos v 
fear and FOMO zone, along with these key Fibonacci levels, um, I believe we're gonna have we're gonna experience some uh, resistance around the 48 cent range, just under 50 cents there. I believe that's where we can have a little bit of a um, kind of a pullback. Uh, I suspect personally. Uh, within this daily candle, I mean, we probably, most likely, uh, won't, but I suspect perhaps a pullback to 42 cents um, before rallying upwards to 48 cents. We're going to experience some resistance there. I believe we're gonna then going to close above. And then uh, only when we open and close above 48 cents uh, will then will that confirm uh, the kind of bullish breakout here, in my opinion. Uh, but with the explosiveness of XLM, we could easily see a candle such as this one back in uh, the 6th of January, 100% uh, in a day. Um, now, that we could easily kind of see in one of those candles again uh, with the bullishness of XLM at this point in time, um, along with the, uh, the fundamentals behind uh, XLM in the long term. There's plenty of long term holders. And uh, just based on the technicals right now, um, I'm very short-term bullish as a breakout upward is pending. Uh, we could easily uh, we could easily get another 30 to 40% uh, in gains pretty quickly here if you were to just uh, trade this sort of breakout from this level to the uh, previous swing high there at uh, 61 cents. That's a good 40% ROI. Not bad at all. Uh, the FOMO zone is up here. It was around 48 cents, has now risen to 58 cents, 59 cents-ish. Um, I believe interaction with the FOMO zone is uh, pretty imminent, pretty uh, pretty imminent here. Um, we could very easily interact with this zone, skyrocket all the way up to perhaps 75 cents uh, to maybe even 80 cents, uh, realistically. We could very easily see price action come up into like this, come down. But ultimately, there is very, very high sell pressure in the uh, in the FOMO zone here, and plenty of traders will be taking profit. And uh, this will be a very key level to look out for um, if you are trading uh, XLM. Uh, for those who held XLM from the fear zone back in uh, November there, if you're accumulating in, uh, in November, uh, if you bought the kind of breakout, if you say you bought during the dip around uh, perhaps like eight cents, so you bought in the uh, fear zone there and you sold at the FOMO zone, you would have made 535% in uh, a little over three months. And so that's that's not bad at all. Um, now, the fear and FOMO zone is uh, more for investors and longer-term traders, whereas the uh, uh, whereas the short-term traders and swing traders will uh, will tend to use probably the more uh, reliable support and resistance strategy. But the fear and FOMO zone is a very powerful tool that uh, gives us very uh, very well uh, calculated sell signals and uh, lets us know where the market is going to become quite volatile. Now, thank you for hearing my analysis. Uh, try Engineering Robo free. Link in the description. Uh, tune in to the next one.